All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow Shalom. Well, the last video that I made has actually stirred up a lot of people. Um, the videos that I make, especially concerning religion, since religion is such a sensitive subject, is not designed to offend you, uh, even though you may be or you may get offended. In this world, in this world, uh, when you go from faith to faith, or shall I put it in the more definitive terms of today, from faith to faith, or from one religion to another religion, <sighs> there's a lot of things that, that are missing that's much to be desired. Um, for instance, uh, let me use words that are easy for you to understand, all right? It's easy to be understood. When you go to the Bible and you look at the things that Jesus did, such as heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out devils, especially the casting out devils part. Um, when you see the prophecies of what would happen when you really truly receive the Holy Spirit, um, the Bible is clear. There is an evidence that comes when you receive the Spirit of Yah, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You're not going to study and receive the Spirit of Yah. You're not just going to get water baptized and receive the Spirit of Yah because the Bible, especially in the New Testament, speaks about two baptisms. One is the baptism of the water and the other one is the baptism of the Spirit, which Christ said you should receive. When you see the fulfillment of that or the application of that over in Acts, the second chapter, uh, Acts 8, Acts 10, and you can go on and on and on, you'll see that the apostles reference what the prophets had already spoke about, Joel and Isaiah, when people would receive the Holy Spirit. Receiving the Holy Spirit is more than just giving mental assent and acknowledging the truth with shaking your head, uh-huh, and going through the same old motions that you went through when you was in Christianity. See, that's why I keep telling you that a lot of these religions a lot of these camps, uh, there's really truly no transformation, no change, um, and very little denial and very little persecution and tribulation and very little of what Christ actually said. When he said, if a man is going to come after me, he must forsake all that he has. I Many of you have never had that experience and never will, and you will never know what it means in Matthew, the 10th chapter, when he says, and a man's own foes will be they of his own household, um, because you just simply don't get it, don't understand. Now, that's not an insult. It's not. Um, you're speaking to someone who's been walking in the way for a long, long time. And and so let me just, bear, let me, I tell you what, let me just break down in, in, in about as elementary terms as I can uh, concerning the faith. You know, number one, um, none of us, uh, when we, when we are, are waking up and, um, uh, Christ drew us. None of us kept the commandments. I know I didn't. I know one thing, though, is that when I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, regardless of all the arguments, and, and believe me, the ones with the arguments is always at the mercy of the ones with the experience. Um, and I people can argue down left and right. Um, but I have been speaking in tongues as the Spirit give the utterance for over 25 years. Um, and it's real. Uh, and that's what transformed me. Um, I was a paratrooper in the United States military. In my last duty station, I was in Op 4 at JRTC at Fort Polk, Louisiana. And I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I was a staff sergeant, and my heart changed, and I just could not do it anymore. And I got out to follow Christ. Um, I started keeping the commandments. Obeying the Bible, I started reading it for myself because religion did not teach me about this baptism of the Holy Spirit. Well, a little while later, I started dealing in spiritual warfare. Started casting devils out of people in Jesus' name. I started to heal people in Jesus' name. Um, there's a lot of things that these people, they'll come up with a thousand different names and all of them disagree. Uh, but the one thing about it, the spirit realm. And man, I tell you, the spirit realm is very real. Um, they know his name and they know the power of him and they know his disciples. Yes, they do too. And um, 
I found out through my own personal independent study and research, I just could not literally be at peace in these churches um, or, or these people who seem to have some form of religion, just couldn't do it. So what did I do? I come out. Um, I started reading. I started studying. I had already been ordained. I had already been ordained by the previous uh, uh, church that I come from uh, there in uh, Louisiana. And ever since then, I've gone on and um, definitely increased in the most high God. Not only that, uh, the ministry is straightway. You'll see people receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And once they get that experience, the words of the pages fly off. I mean, fly off. You'll see people today do just like the Christians, especially Hebrews. They'll tell you that tongues is languages. Um, they'll tell you that uh, because they naturalize everything because nothing's spiritual. Uh, they have never had an encounter with a demonic spirit. They have never healed anyone of anything. And people come from all over the world here to straightway to be healed of sickness and diseases. I teach people that because the Bible teaches us in Matthew that we need to teach people. Um, not only the good news, but teach people how to heal. It also teaches us, just the same way it did with the apostles, as they went out uh, two by two, the commandment is heal the sick, cast out devils. That's the commandment. Now you ask yourself today, how many places out there that is literally, they got a lot of form and a lot of fashion. They do a lot of reading. Yes, they do. But they're void of the power of, of Yah. Can you believe? I mean, really void. Uh, no devils and demons are being cast out. People are not being healed. Um, when people are sick, the first thing they do is run to the medicine cabinet or run to the hospital. There's really no power there, like you would read in the New Testament. Well, straightway, uh, not only are we about the faith of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but as Israelites, just like the old prophets did, we have power. You better believe that. And I think that's what surprised people more than anything is when they get introduced to this ministry. When they come to this ministry is the power that is involved, the life-changing power and the anointing, the great power of anointing that they feel that breaks yokes. That's the difference. That is the difference. I can't convince you. Um, you'd have to study your own self. You have to go back into my archives. I got plenty of videos here. I got many teachings. You have to get your Bible open it up, and read along. Now, forgive me if I do not use a lot of Hebraic terms and languages um, when I'm teaching. The people that I speak to, most of them, 99.9% .9 of them speak English, so I try to keep it under that platform. But it, it's up to you. You are the ones that are charged to be like the Bereans. You are. If anyone teaches, preaches anything, you are the one that's supposed to go and search the scriptures to see if the things that are being said, if it is so. That's what you should do. Um, a lot of people who claim to be Hebrews, they have a lot of word in them, but they're powerless. Um, a lot of people who claim to be Christians, they're powerless. But I will say this, there's more healing and more deliverance that goes on in the religion of Christianity than it does in the Hebrew faith. It just It's amazing. Um, so you have some people that have spirit, and they have no truth. And then you have those who have truth and they have no spirit. But when you combine them two and you follow exactly what that word says, you've got a powerful force and Satan is going to be quite upset. I hope that you will learn more and be willing to learn more about the life-changing experience of being a true Israelite in the Straightway Truth Ministry. If you go to straightway.com, look behind me. It says Straightway Truth. You can go to Straightway truth.com either one you'll learn a lot but I, my suggestion is is that you start off clicking in here and youtube punching in what is truth um on my channel um holy spirit on my channel uh, because more than anything you need the holy spirit you're going to need the baptism of the holy spirit the same baptism that the apostles received the same baptism that the early church received. You're going to need that power in order to be able to carry through what we're dealing with today. Anyway, I just thought I'd go ahead and give that summary. Um, all you have to do is just check behind what I'm saying, and you'll see it for yourself, providing that Yah has given you the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Shalom.